Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm back with three new pickups, and um, two of which I have not reviewed yet. So I'm gonna post it up in this video. We have the 10 Nike Air Vapor Max FK, white, black, total orange. Which I'm not even sure why they call it total orange. I guess because there's hints of orange in here. But um, we have the off white Vapor Max in the white colorway. I know you guys have seen the black, but you have yet to see the white. I think these are an updated version. The only thing I do not like about this is that they put the little Chinese sticker on the box. See, it has this regular retail sticker. The um, swish is correct, nice and glossy. You have off white, CO Nike, shoe box, Beavers in Oregon, USA, created 2017. You can also see that they fixed these 2017 tags, which is correct. The box came in pristine condition by DHL. Looks good. You have that double tissue paper, that off-white design tissue paper. You have that Nike tissue paper on the inside. It does say Vapor Max all over the tissue paper. So I believe that was a part of the update. It does come with these little um, silicone kind of gel packets, like how a retail shoe would come with. Only thing I did not like about this box, that I do not like on none of my boxes, and I've actually told her this, was this little Chinese sticker here because they're always so hard to take off and honestly I just feel like they don't need to be on the bottom of the box but all the other information is correct all the correct stickers wording everything is good I just have to find something to do with this sticker I don't know if the person is going to do it itself it's a lot of work to try to take this off they tell you to blow dry it off or put a rag or a warm compress in and try to peel it off it's too much work just don't put it on there in the first place and I won't have to do all this extra work so here's the shoes. And they look pretty good. I'm not going to go too much in depth just because they just say um, white version of the black. Same design and everything. You can see that the uh, stripe or the little check mark is clear. You have that ear and quotation marks on the inside here. You can see it says the same thing on the box. Beaverton, Oregon, Vapor Max created 2017. She was pretty straightforward. The design is correct. You can see there's like hints of, you know, the off-white, and then there's white in certain places. The structure is 100% correct. These look perfect, actually. You have the tin on the inside. These are the extra laces. They say shoelaces on them, as well as it says shoelaces on the white laces. You can see it has made in China here, then in different um, languages. Here's the inside. They've done pretty well on this insole. I know that was something that I asked them to fix too. So this is an updated version. See that foam tongue? Everything looks good here. So you can move on to the next shoe. Next shoe, we have a V1, which I have yet to... Um, go over from this company so I'm excited the last V1s that I got were from KW but these are from the new company so we have Easy Boost 350 it says pure black bluegirl sea black basically pirate black sea black and I'm not even sure if that's supposed to be beluga I'm not sure about that US 13 let's zoom in See that the little man is correct. It doesn't look funny. The head is floating. Everything looks good. Everything looks good here. So this shoe is a little bigger. It's a size 13. So it may look a little different. I'm not sure if this toe looks funny because of the tissue paper on the inside. Let's see. Oh no. Overall, the shape looks pretty good. The pattern looks the same as KW. I'm looking at my KWs now. They look pretty good. The shoestrings are correct. Sock liner is 100% correct. Let me see. Here's the pull tab for all of you guys who want to see the uh, details. Oh, it's falling. Okay. This one should be a little easier to see the size tag since it's a bigger shoe. Where is it? You can see it's 
see Mel Mel, APE, all of that good stuff in there. Also on the insole, always try to hold it steady so if any of you guys want to pause and check out the details. You have Adidas, the little logo, and then Yeezy on the other side. Um, let's get to the bottom of the shoe. You have the Adidas logo right in the middle. And then you have the boost here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then you have seven. This was before they um switched to the V2 and did the stripes. It used to be the little dots. I must say this boost is soft. It's a little softer than um the V1 boost. These look pretty good. And then on the other foot. Just show you guys. Set this up here so you guys can see the bottom because the adidas um logo on the bottom is in two separate places and that's exactly how it's supposed to be see that there and on this foot which is the right foot you have the um hang tags here in different languages this comes on every single easy but on the v ones you have this other hang tag that comes with the sizing Let me see something. Yep, there you go. It's different sizing, materials, all of that good stuff. Different symbols. It's in various languages. There you go. That's enough for that shoe. I'll just put the tissue paper back in there. And last but not least, it's a shoe that you guys have already seen. But I'm going to go over it again because it came with some new details this time. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I hope that's everything. Okay, so as you can see, we have the Cactus Jacks, a.k.a. Travis Scott, Jordan Force. They're made with that nice, smooth kind of suede material. You can see the suede changing. Or the new book as I'm you know touching on it what I see is that they gave me this StockX card which is pretty cool you know how to replicate everything I've actually never ordered from StockX so I'm not sure if this is correct but it has the StockX tag what kind of card little thing it comes with this StockX sticker and then you have the actual StockX hang tag itself it to stop moving there you go so you have three stock x items for this one shoe which is pretty cool and i think that this is a great alternative for people who you know want to rock these same shoes same quality but do not want to pay 220 why am i going to sit here and pay 220 or 190 for a shoe when i can get it for maybe 20 or 30 dollars less that $20 or $30 is going to add up. And guess what? You can use that towards a bill. If you're in school, you can use that to, to put it towards your own... What is that? Your, your dining or your luncheon? I don't even know what it's called. Because I don't go to school on campus. But yeah. These are it. That $20 or $30 can really add up and save you a lot of money. This one also comes with a suggested retail tag. Which I also like because Jordans are supposed to come with the retail tag. So that's pretty cool too. University Blue Black or Blue Carolina. And so this is pretty cool. I like these sneakers but I do not think I'll be getting them for myself. I went over these before. These actually look better than the ones that I reviewed before. I think what really brings this shoe out, not only the hints of red but also the paint splatters. Like I said, if you guys want to order through me, you can. If not, then so be it. But please do not come asking me a thousand and one times. What's the website? What's the website? Please do not do that. It's annoying. And at this point, I'm just going to block you because I've been saying this for months now. 
Thank you guys for watching. Please continue to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Make sure you go follow my Instagram at the K Souls. I'm only answering people that are following me. And that's that. Have a nice day.